<laughs> yeah, compound butter is a little different. It's uh, it's butter, but you're adding all sorts of good stuff to it. You kind of break it down and add some goodness. And that's exactly what Clarina was teaching me this week in the kitchen. Okay, today we're actually going to rub it under the skin of that turkey breast. All right. And we're going to roast that turkey breast. Start by pouring your dried cranberries and balsamic vinegar into a small saucepan. Bring that to a simmer. What I'm doing is I'm really just infusing those cranberries with some balsamic flavor. That's interesting because you've, you've dried out the cranberries, so you've lost some of the cranberry juice, so now you're exactly. putting a different flavor back in. And if they were fresh, they wouldn't absorb as much. While you wait for your cranberries and balsamic vinegar to simmer, we can work on our herbs. Start by cutting your sage into thin strips, then coarsely chop some rosemary. Great. Toss your chopped herbs as well as some thyme into a bowl also add in your cranberries. It's better if you can let them cool just because of course since they were simmering this will work fine but it just it, it's best if they're cool. Be sure to strain out that excess liquid. The liquid will not adhere to the butter since oil and water aren't friends. Add your butter to the bowl and we're just gonna mix and mix and mix and mix. Also add in some salt if you're using unsalted butter. I actually like to salt it myself because I find that I can use kind of more coarse flakes like this since it's a compound butter and you're kind of supposed to see everything in it. Your compound butter is ready to go, so it's time to prep your turkey breast with salt and fresh cracked pepper. Peel back the skin of your turkey breast. Get under that skin. And stuff it with some of your compound butter. It's probably about a third of a cup that we put under here. Then you just kind of work it around in there a little bit. Yeah, I'm almost going to like massage it in. Trying to really get it under that muscle. Pop your turkey breast in an oven that's been preheated to 400 degrees for about an hour. Once the breast is cooked. Only if my mother's turkey would come out looking like that at Thanksgiving. Nobody's mom's turkey looked like that. Carve it up and enjoy. Here we go. It's so good. That's perfect. Put that on a sandwich. It's good. Mm. I like the black pepper too. It's mm -hmm. like actually got some pepperiness. That is the tasty recipe from this week. Compound butter, delicious. You can. Put it on bread, you can put it on a turkey breast, really, you can put it on just about anything. And if you want to check out this recipe or all of the recipes from our In the Kitchen series, just head to our website. That's WPTZ.com. We've got the full list of recipes there, as well as this video and past video from this delectable series.